16, 17, and 18 have to do with those absolute values. Talked about absolute values on Monday being the distance of the number from zero on the number line, which this basically makes your number positive. But before you can apply the absolute value, you have to do the math inside the absolute value symbols. So if I'm going to evaluate this first expression, I'm going to do the 10 minus 9 first. 10 minus 9 is 1. Once I just have one number inside my absolute value, I can then apply the absolute value. Absolute value of 15 is 15. The absolute value of 1 is 1. There's a subtraction between those two expressions. So my problem just says do 15 minus 1, which is 14. So if I'm going to do number 17, again, I want to start and simplify inside the absolute values. 6 minus 8 would be negative 2. I'm then going to do my absolute values. The absolute value of negative 2 is? 2. The absolute value of 14 is? Still 14. There's a subtraction between them, so my problem's 2 minus 14, which is? Whoops. Negative 12. Now the third one, notice, has that extra set of absolute values. So you do the inside just like we did the previous two, and then apply the absolute value to your answer. Go ahead and try that one on your paper. And you ended up with an answer of seven. Good, that's what I got. <laughs> All right.